Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Brutal back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, we got a pretty big update. And another thing to go over, I'm going to be combining two videos into one for the most part for today's video. So make sure to stay tuned to the end. I will be going over some of the Christmas potential blitz that we're supposed to be seeing. Potentially, I'll go over all that. Also, as well, we had a pretty big update today to the game. They did indeed just add abilities as well as more AP on offense. If you guys know what AP on offense is, essentially, ability points on offense is kind of how you pick your abilities, kind of like your ability cap. Now, if you guys didn't know, which I assume you do, let's just say, right, like Human Joystick. I don't recall. I don't remember how much it was. It was really high, though. If you use an ability like Human Joystick, you pretty much use all of your ability points on offense. So that means that your offense is pretty much going to have one or two abilities on offense. Now, if you pick things like, you know, strong on quarterback with Gunslinger 1 AP, you can fit in a few more. So it's kind of like strategy of how much you could fit versus how much you need versus, like, so, like, let's say you're a heavy, heavy, routed up kind of team. Maybe you go hot route master quarterback. Maybe like, you know, route technician, slot automatic. Like you want to make sure that you can balance it so you can get all the players you want to have the abilities you need. So that they added more, it kinda of adds balance to the game. Because as we're getting more into this game, we're getting players with more and more abilities that are great, newer stuff. And honestly, it's hard to change, right? Because let's say you rock with evasive on your back, hot route master, gunstinger on the quarterback, and then tank, right, on the tight end or something like that. So now, that's it. That's what you always rock. Now you can never try any other abilities because you get comfortable with that scheme. So it's kind of exciting to see them add some more AP as well as the new abilities. So I'm going to take you over to the blog. I'm going to read you that, go over the new abilities, go over the AP, and then I'm going to come back and then show you guys some of the blitz stuff that I want to talk about. But let's head on over to the blog. All right, guys. So here is the blog. As you guys can see, December 17th, title update. Patch list was older. French update is now live older. Here's the new thing, new abilities to be added and ability point changes in Madden Ultimate Team. We got some updates, superstar abilities, and ability point costs coming to you soon. The team would like to provide a summary. Alright, four new abilities added to Mutt. Now I imagine if they're added to Mutt, that means they're not added to Franchise or other stuff. I hope they are, but Backlash. Tacklers will get a fatigue penalty for any non-conservative attack on a ball carrier with this uh, ability equipped. So tacklers will get a fatigue penalty for any non-conservative tackler on the ball carrier. So pretty much... You got like Derek Henry. Well, I mean, I guess anyone really. You put this on for them, and what it's pretty much gonna do, or even a wide receiver, if someone tries to hit stick you, they're gonna lose a lot of a lot of stamina for trying so hard. To, I guess I mean that's like realistic, right? Because like if you try to hit stick someone tiny, let's just say like maybe maybe like a little tiny skinny back, like a Naheem Himes, maybe it's easier. But if you try to hit stick someone like Derek Henry, you're taking a hit back as well. So and at the next play, you're probably thrown off a little bit. That's a pretty realistic feature added in us in terms of tackling. Now, how helpful it is, is it? I mean, maybe if the middle linebacker comes to the middle or safety and tries to hit stick you, and then he loses a bunch of stamina, you come back out running again, maybe he's too slow or too weak to really come back in again. Possibly, so you need a 90 plus truck to have it. It's only 2 AP. For power backs, and then for wide receivers, it's 2 AP, you need a 75 plus truck. For elusive backs, it's 4 AP. And for utility fullbacks, it's 2 AP. Now we have recuperation, which I believe actually was here already. So these are some of the other new ones. Um, so recuperation will quicker, will have quicker fatigue recovery. Tier 2, 1 art, 1 AP for all archetypes. And then we have honorary alignment, which will produce likely to produce impact blocks and defensive backs. Now that was actually pretty cool, in my opinion. I really did like this one. I haven't really got to try it out too much in like mud or anything, but I did like it. And then that will require that. Deflator will produce um, more ball carry fatigue when using not uh, conservative tackle. Kind of like the opposite of the first one. Now let's get to the AP adjustments made. So offensive and defensive AP limit will be raised from 10 to 12 now, which is actually really exciting for a lot of people who do like to use ability. Double or nothing raised plus one AP across all archetypes. So I guess that must have been pretty good if they raised it. Acrobat raised plus one on all non-cornerbacks. Escape artist. I guess that's cool actually for Acrobat. Because people run, like, all safeties across the linebacker spots, all safeties in the box. So they would have just everyone with Acrobat on, and pretty much it was just, it was just crazy. It was like a circus going on. Enforcer decreased all linebackers and cornerbacks by 1 AP. That's not bad. Run stopper, middle linebacker, and outside linebacker are now only 1 AP. Identifier decreased field general quarterback 
to all field general, improviser, and offensive line archetypes to 1 AP. Threat detector is now plus 1. Jukebox is now down by 1. Spin cycle went decreased by 1. Evasive um, decreased by 2. That's interesting now. So I guess because human joysticks out, they made it so that you can get this stuff a little easier. Tight end apprentice is going to be decreased by 1. Secure tackler decreased by 1. Human joysticks now is 8 AP. That's absolutely crazy. Playmaker is now 4 AP across all archetypes. QB playmaker sets to 7 AP for impressive quarterbacks. Gunslinger rated raised plus 1 AP to strong on quarterbacks to make it a little bit harder, I guess, to get it because everyone has it. So this is pretty interesting. This is some interesting stuff, guys. A lot of changes here. Now, we do have 10 to 12, but, I mean, 10 to 12 is really not even, it's even better than you think because if you think about it, if you're running like escape artist or enforcer or threat to, or uh, jukebox or spin cycle or base, any of these ones that were decreased, essentially you just got more while also using less. You know I mean, so you kind of, you, you like increase your capacity while also lowering your usage. So I can really see that this could be very, very beneficial in the long run in terms of all that stuff. Hopefully, you know, um, this does work out. And this is kind of cool because it does change the meta, right? Because at one point the meta was all bench press, right? Because it was a certain level of, you know, easiness to it, of getting it and being able to do it. Then you change the meta a little bit, or you change you change this. You make Let's say you make this, uh, you know, that detector up. Now people can't afford this and, you know, this other thing. So now you have to, the meta changes up. So it's going to really change the way you have to play. I don't know how much it'll change it, but it definitely will impact it to some extent. It's just a matter of whether or not it'll impact it heavily or lightly. But, I mean, again, that remains to be seen. But we'll pretty much see more and know more as time does go on and stuff, as you guys know with the stuff. It won't change overnight. People will start working with some combos today. Other people will just keep trying to play as is, not even realize there was an update. Some people will just add another ability and keep rocking with it and not trying to maximize anymore until they start seeing other people talk about it on Twitter or YouTube. So, you know, the better will take time to change how it's always been. But now let's head on over, guys, to the Blitz stuff that I didn't want to talk about for the Zero Chill promo because, guys, they did, pretty, they did tease a Blitz that we're not sure if that's like an official teaser or we're just misinterpreting it. But either way, guys, we did we were expecting Christmas Blitz last year. They kind of let us down. I mean, really, last year was just a year of year. Oh, they just pretty much gave us nothing new or fun. What they pretty much just did was gave us they gave us all the basic promos and just skipped all the extra stuff we were getting. Now this year it seems like they're bringing that back, so it would make sense. So in Madden 19, we did get a Christmas Blitz. Oh yeah, we got a Thanksgiving Blitz, Black Friday, I should say, a Christmas Blitz and a Super Bowl Blitz. So the next year. We expected all the same things. We got none of that, besides the regular one. Now, we do expect another one, but let's go to this uh, screenshot right here, which is what I was referring to. So, as you see here, guys, this was it. So, cozy up for story time, and these are the pages. So, pretty much the Madden book is what has been showing us our content. Now, this page is going to be flipped soon. And this current page was the Bobby Wagner, or the Jamal Adams Day, sorry, which was our last big content drop. Now, he made a mess at the store. Now, the line was quite long. This is our final line here. Now, as you guys see, the page turns to a... Christmas ball with a Blitz logo with inside of it, as you guys can see up here. Now, I don't know about you guys, but typically that logo only means means one thing and only one thing in Madden or Mutt. It means a Blitz is coming. Now, a Blitz would be exactly around the same time we got it last year. It was slightly after Christmas, literally exactly just not last year, two years, two Maddens ago. Now, in terms of Blitz, how would you prepare? I'll make a separate video on how to prepare in case uh, you know this does get you know becomes official. But mostly, guys, I'm not sure how they would run it this time. Because the first time they did end up doing this, they did real money, they did zero chill currency, and they did training, which is how a blitz should be, right? The real money for people who want to high roll and get the big stuff, currency for people who want to re roll and make coins. Because that is what made it so much fun. Because using real money. It's just you turning real currency into virtual currency. Using snow, right? You're, it's just turning virtual currency into more virtual currency. So what sounds better to you, right? The first one just isn't even exchange. And you spend 100 bucks, you make X amount of money. Now you earn coins in game, which you turn into snow. And then you use that snow and you invest it. And then you keep re-rolling it. And eventually you have a million snow. It's just turning money into more money, right? So that is why that, that sense of a blitz is more fun. And it's more rewarding. Because like I said, if I put... I always have this theory, like when people like say, oh, you know, I got this great pull or I pulled this a million coin card. It's like, but you put, you know, I don't want to be down, but like you put 200 to $300 into it. So it's like, at what extent do you get ex that excited for? You know what I mean? Like, that's why I always hated opening packs. It's like, 
either you don't get what you want and you're upset, or even if you do get what you want, it's like, how much did it, you know, how, how much did you put on the line or how much did it cost to get that? That's why it would be super exciting to see currency back involved because then it's like, you're playing with house money, right? Like, it, it's the money that the game gave to you. It's the free stuff from the solos. You can play with it. You can gamble with it. And you don't feel like, oh my God, like, I just spent my Christmas money on that. Like, or that's why I always advocate for going out. Like, you guys, if you need coins, that's a mug reserve. That's why I always advocate buying coins directly. But instead of gambling for coins with real money, buy exactly what it's worth. And if you guys want to do so, Code Poodle is still active for 30% off. Take advantage of how the discounts will be ending soon. Probably a few more days. And there's a lot of players to pick up. Don't wait. Once you miss out on the discount, it will go back to probably 15%. And then you guys are going to be upset that you missed out on all those free extra. It's pretty much just free coins, right? Because that's essentially taking a third off the price. 30%, you're getting about a third off. So you're saving about a third. So you, you wait, you're going to lose 15% of the coins. That opportunity you could have had. But moving on from that, continue on. So guys, you see this is a zoom in picture right here. It says the ball right there. That is, that, I mean, that looks like a sticker of the Blitz, right? I can't imagine it being much else other than that. But that pretty much does wrap up the video. Like I said, this is what we're we expecting a blitz. I don't know when it would be. So it could, it could be tonight at 8 p.m. It could be tomorrow. It could be Thursday when the first day of content is officially back. A lot of days for it to possibly start. But it probably won't last long. Probably only two to three days. It would be a quick hitting blitz, obviously. That's how they did it the first time. But either way, it's still going to be fun. We're going to love it regardless. Hopefully, it does end up coming sooner rather than later. And again, if we do get more confirmation on this or, you know, we really, if we start talking about it as a community, feel strong about it. I will make a how to prepare video so you guys are ready. Hopefully, they do include currency and training versus just money. And that's what I think they would do because it would be the Christmas blitz versus the, because the Thanksgiving blitz always been known as just like a big, big money, money promo. Always. But they made their money on that, so maybe they can have a little more fun with this. But guys, that's about it for the video. Hopefully, you did enjoy. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. Turn on that notification bell. Comment down below. Let me know what's up. I'm out. Heading over to my reserve. You just go Poodle for 30% off. I'm out. Peace.